Station Solo comes ready to set up and take payments in just minutes. In the box, you'll find the Station Solo, a receipt printer, and a starter kit, which includes a hub, power brick and power cord, ethernet cable, paper rolls, Velcro fasteners, and a quick start guide. Let's get your Solo connected. First, connect the receipt printer cable to the bottom of the Solo and connect the hub to the second connector. With the provided screwdriver, secure the connectors to the device. Now connect the power cable to the power brick. You can use the Velcro strips to mount the hub under your counter. To power on your Solo, simply plug it in. Select the language for your setup and follow the setup wizard to activate your Solo. Now let's connect to your network and activate your device. You can connect via mobile, Wi-Fi, or Ethernet, whichever works best for you. We'll walk through connecting to each. If you opted for Wireless Manager for your Solo device, simply verify that your device is connected to the mobile network. If you prefer the Ethernet option, connect an Ethernet cable to the hub, then to your modem or router. Your device will automatically try to connect to the internet and will let you know when successfully connected. Just be sure to turn off any Wi-Fi connections. To connect to a wireless network, tap Connect and select your network. Enter the password and tap Connect. Your Solo will now download and install the latest version of Clover software. It may reboot after install. In the meantime, Clover support will send you an email with the activation code for your device. The code will be sent to the email address used to set up your merchant account. If you have multiple Clover devices, each device has its own unique activation code. Use the device's serial number to match it with the right code. If this is the first Clover device you're activating, you'll be prompted to enter an admin passcode. If you already have an admin or owner account, your device will skip this step and the apps will begin installing. Next, we'll install the printer paper. Open the printer door and push the green lever. Insert the paper roll, and print a quick test receipt. On the display, tap Continue. Now, select your Clover device plan from the options listed. Unlocking your Solo is easier than ever with its fingerprint sensor. To capture a fingerprint, follow the instructions on the screen or tap Skip to set it up later in the employee app. Up to 20 fingerprint touch codes can be set for your staff. We'll now set some initial settings, such as whether you want to require a password to unlock the device and where to prompt for tips, whether on the device or on the receipt. You can also edit these settings later in the Setup app.